For the past two falls, we've raised and released over 100 monarch super generation butterflies. In this video, we'll show you the full life cycle from the egg on milkweed to the adult in the sky. You too can experience the joy of releasing the monarchs into the wild. Go this way and look. A few years back, we planted some common milkweed in our garden here in Asheville, North Carolina. The milkweed spreads quickly in full sun through underground roots. The last of the normal generations of female monarchs coming from further north then lay eggs that will become the super generation. This is a tiny dead caterpillar. And that's one reason we, we can bring them in, in our house and then they'll, they'll maybe survive better. We cleaned the butterfly rearing enclosure and now we're going to add some fresh milkweed. And then you just take the caterpillars and put them on different leaves. The butterfly rearing enclosure is good because we have reduced predation. We can see the life cycle. There's a controlled climate because it's cold and rainy outside this time of year. And we can make it a healthier food supply. Overall, we've had over 96% success rate while we released over 100 butterflies. There are five instars when these guys molt and shed their soft exoskeleton. One of them pooped on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people might call it a J, but some of the organs of the butterfly have already formed as a J before it's even become a chrysalid. At no moment during the transition can you put a finger on what it is. The gold dots on a chrysalid are not gold, but serve a purpose in either oxygen exchange hormone regulation, camouflage, released waste, or a mix. Both chrysalids and caterpillars can get something called black death, and that can be caused by either a virus or a bacteria. Their compound eyes are arranged to see in all directions at once. Omnivision. Look at that wing pattern. It's beautiful. The scales on a monarch's wings insulate their wings, help with flying, and give them their striking orange color patterns. We're about to release this butterfly, which is part of the super generation. This super generation is the only generation that goes down to Mexico, 2,000 miles from here to the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve. They'll stay there over winter and then they'll come back in the spring. So it's a long journey. They live about eight to nine months. That's compared to the regular generations. They only live for four weeks. It's ready. I can see. We have four in here. If you look, you can see there are dots. This is a female. 
Unlike normal generations, the super generation monarchs are born unable to reproduce. This makes sense because they can then conserve energy for migration and overwintering. In the spring, the super generation matures sexually and the females can find abundant fresh milkweed for egg laying. I'm going to put it on the bigger branch. It'll be better for it. On the migration, the butterflies funnel together around the south central U.S. and there are so many butterflies there that sometimes they ride these cold fronts and you can see them on the Doppler radar. Amazing and mysterious is how they know to migrate exactly to where they need to go without ever having been there.